I thought then I was trying hard. That's the scariest thing in the world. I thought then 297 pound working for Ecolab, spraying for cockroaches, making $1,000 a month. I thought that was me at my 100% potential. Come to find out, a few years later, I wasn't anywhere near that. 106 pounds less, graduate Navy SEAL training, went on to do all these other things. Looking back on that, that was me trying hard. That's why people gotta understand what is in us we have no idea until we start trying hard. And I mean really trying hard where you're obsessed with, hey, this is my new norm. My new norm is that, wow, this isn't always fun. It's not always meant to be fun. And that's when you know you're trying hard. Is that, and so people listening to us that maybe are at 20% or 30%, how do they shatter that myth that they've been telling themselves, you know, about, yeah, I'm, I'm going hard, I'm going max and yet they're not seeing the results. Like how do they actually shake themselves out of that? Because there's a great quote, I think it's by this guy named Richard Feynman who says, the first principle is that you must not fool yourself and you're the easiest person to fool. Mm -hmm. So we construct these crazy Disneyland realities in our brain, right? And right. then feed it back to ourselves. How do you shatter that? Well, your first thing, you, like you're fighting, we all have two people. We all have two people. And I'm not saying you're crazy. We have the easy voice, which is that 20% telling yourself that you're, I'm easy at 90% of my full potential, maybe 100% at that 20%. That's that voice that we all love. That's that very comfortable voice that, that's that mommy holding you saying, it's gonna be okay. Doesn't care how good you are, just loves you. Just loves you no matter how messed up you are in life. That's where you wanna be at. So that's that one voice. This other voice that we walk very far away from is the voice saying, hey man, you ain't doing shit. So we try to get this voice out of our head completely. And we live over here in this land. So what you have to do first is turn up this voice over here. The voice saying things to you that aren't nice. That it's in our head saying, you know what man, dude, you're not, you're not doing shit. You're not, you're not a mount. I mean, and, and it's not putting yourself down. People take this the wrong way in this new society. I'm not saying to put yourself down. I'm saying listen to the truth. And the truth isn't in the 20%. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, pain, failure, 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 self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you got to go through all of this shit. So a lot of us know that. We know. We do know deep down. Yeah, I can get over here, but over here, man, this is much better because I got to go through this journey that is not fun. This, this from 20 to 100%, this shit in, the, in between is not fun. So we decided to live over here. So everybody goes, how do you do that? You know exactly how to do that. You know exactly, it's, it's not a magic trick. There's nothing I talk about in that book that's a magic trick. It's all back down to a very primitive mindset of we just have to do. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. Like we don't even know that, that, that we're doing it. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says, no, you just say, it's just what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you want to go, the amount of pain involved, I'm not saying physical, I'm not saying you got to break yourself off, the amount of mental pain of how many times you're going to have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go is going to be, it, it, there's going to be more times you do something that, that you don't want to do than you are going to want to do it. And that's, that, that's your new norm. That's your new norm. So then it's like breathing. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't want to live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. So if you really want it, 
you realize what trying is and what trying is not.